Yeah, this is Will Ghosting uh, from uh, Detroit Southeastern number two. Coming up on my senior year, trying to hang with my man RJ from uh, City Ballers. Here to talk about a couple teams, how I feel like this the upcoming season is going to be. You know, got a couple good matchups. Hi, I'm Foley Sweet Fee Mitchell from Detroit Cody. Fun return, kick return, wide receiver in corner. Uh, Daniel D. East, Easterly from Detroit Cats Tech. I play safety slash linebacker. Well, as the process when I was catching the ball and running, when I first broke that first tackle, I, I looked and all I seen was daylight. So I just began to run and I just seen the touchdown. So I just kept running. I ain't really pay attention to anybody that was on the side of me. I was just focused on the touchdown. Um, basically, for the Cody game, when I went into it, I had my mind like focused on everything I was supposed to do going into the game. Uh, had my, I was in the zone basically. Uh, went in there, coach talked to me before the game, said I had, he needed me to do some things, make some big plays. This went in and did for him. Uh, I'm known as a banger, a hitter, and whatnot, and I had to show people that I could do it. So just went in there, started knocking heads. That's that's all. Yeah. Uh... Got a pretty nice menu, you know, as far as our schedule. We got this first team from Chicago. I don't know too much about them, but it's going to be a straight game. It's at Wayne State, 7 o'clock. I think it's August 27th for the 28th. Our second game against Cody. Yeah. Nick, Nick Perry, I got this is, this is a message for you. Coming after your sack break, you already know I'm beating you by 10. You know what the deal is. You know, I, we talked about it on the phone. You know it's going to have to happen. You're going to have to go through everything I got to go through. You, you know, you already know. I'm trying to be the sack king of Michigan. I'm trying to get that Mr. Football. It's going to be hectic. You know, to make my team, like, I know we real close. So I'm trying to, we trying to become a brotherhood. That way we can take everything we learn on the field and progress as young men. You know what I'm saying? Our coach is helping us out a lot. Coach English, Coach Smith, Coach Trav, Coach G, Coach Collins. All of them, they helping us out a lot, you know? Uh, trying to help us stay out the streets and um, stay on the field, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad we got this city ball and stuff, you know? Give us something to look forward to in the city. We ain't really got nothing to look forward to, you know what I'm saying? Because with this, it's like we go on the computer, like, and then we can talk stuff like, look, I'm on this bad way, now you can see my highlights. You know, so I'm glad we got this going on, city ball thing. and put themselves out there to see how good we are. And I've been playing football for 10 years. I played for the Detroit Broncos, who are number one. And one main thing I just want to say is, Cody, you know what I'm saying, we just, as a team, we just work hard and do what we're supposed to do. We just want to keep getting better as a team. Okay, uh, what's on my shirt is Illinois. I committed to Illinois about three weeks ago. Uh, I'll be attending Illinois in the in the fall of 2010. So look forward for that. Uh, Illinois. <laughs> I first realized that Daniel was going to be an athlete, very athletic, was uh, he was about in kindergarten. And his older brothers were in elementary school and we would go over to the school to pick the uh, pick the other boys up and I would ask Daniel to go in and get the uh, his older brothers and when Dan would Dan would get out of the car he would just take off running into the school and I always have to yell and say Daniel will you stop running stop stop running and walk in the building he was always running always running and um, I'm surprised I never thought he would be foot in football but I always thought he would be a track star Found his dog on the field it's crazy but one thing I am going to talk about I'm out I, I gotta say I'm going to state so you know about that Michigan-Michigan State rival. I get to play against my man Will Campbell a couple times. And I just found out I played against you. You played for the Vikings. I played for the Eagles. It was a playoff. And I think we beat y'all then. So I ain't going to tell you how many times you beat us. You already know about last year. Um, excuse me, something happened with my hands. But uh, get to play against you, you get to Michigan. So I uh, hope you're ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing I want to talk about is I know I addressed it, but like grades is real serious though. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have all the talent in the world and you can have no talent, but if you got the grades, they're gonna pick you up. You know what I'm saying? You can always teach a guy how to play as long as you got the right work ethic. You can't go out there and think you the man. 
and you ain't the man. But even if you is the man, you know, you gotta just act like you're everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't need to know you're the man. You just prove it on the field. Your mouth can get you into a whole lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, it's all the time I got right now, you know, but uh, for all y'all players who are in the season, I'm gonna show y'all all this right here. I know y'all remember that, it's on all the highlights. But I want y'all to know y'all gonna, gonna feel all this this season, you know what I'm saying? It might be a little bit bigger, you know, but uh, I got something for y'all come uh, August. And this is Will Grosser right here. Now if it ain't no City Ballers, it ain't hitting. This Foley Street Street Mitchell signing out of City Ballers. If it ain't no City Ballers, it ain't hitting. If it ain't no City Ballers, it ain't hitting.